What's going on guys? Welcome to Instagrips. We're the hardware traction company created for traction whips on the entire market to help increase traction in sports like volleyball, basketball, any hardware sport. You can find the link to our store in our about section here on our YouTube channel. With that, today I'll be doing a full performance review on the Jordan Tatum ones. Uh, these released uh, on April 7th, 2023. So a little bit less than a year ago for a retail price of 120, which is a pretty good price for this shoe. Some of the features of the shoe, uh, my favorite and honestly any shoe ever made is the air unit in the forefoot and the heel. It's incredible. Um, I'll get to that later in the feel section, but it makes it a really good shoe. And then also this breathable material here, it's very light um, right here. It's just the inside and this material separating it. So it's very breathable, makes a light shoe for even being a higher top than most shoes that come out nowadays so onto the feel of them um they're a very great shoe in 2023 we were spoiled by nike who owns jordan so you know same same brand overall but we're spoiled by nike and jordan with them releasing a lot of shoes that feel very nice like this there are not a lot of terrible shoes and uh, you know a lot of signature shoes that came out were top tier shoes of the year um the fuel carries what makes these a very good shoe. So the interior cushioning, it's very comfortable. It feels good on the foot. Uh, my favorite part is the air unit though. As I said, you have it in the four foot heel. It's actually exposed here and it says air zero on it, which is cool. There's also one on the heel. These literally feel like, um, like pillows on your feet. They're bouncy, give you a nice feel. They just feel awesome. Um, not even really sure how to describe it until you wear it but it, it really puts together a really nice shoe. Um, it's also very, very light, which I was saying, this material, it's super light and it allows for a high top shoe with materials that look heavy, it's extremely light. And uh, I love that about these. So, you know, every single aspect of the field blends well together to bring us a very good feeling shoe in the Jordan Tatum ones. So onto the traction. Um, this is honestly what makes it a little bit lower it would be a perfect shoe if the traction was amazing but you know shoes are gonna have their flaws it's only tatum's first shoe but the you know the the uh, traction um is not great from it so this translucent part here this is actually not too bad but this other material it's like a it's not i would say it's like a foam material it's usually what you find in most midsoles you can see that it does extend to the midsole but this is on the bottom here you usually have this rubber material on the bottom Having this, I don't like this. It doesn't stick to the cord at all. It goes away instantly after, you know, first use. Instagrips doesn't really help it that much. Um, I mean, it does make it better, but it once it goes away, it's, you know, you're hopeless. And you can see this, I wore this probably less, a little less than 10 hours total um, before making this review. You have deterioration already here on the outsole. The tread is gone on here. This is, you know, I play on the inside of my feet, playing like this on my toes, um, playing a little bit on the inside edge. It just deteriorates here. And uh, if you're looking at this as a long lasting shoe, you might want to question that part. And also up here, it's deteriorating right here also. And, uh, you know, overall, I don't like that aspect of the traction, but it's not a huge killer. Um, but, you know, it's obviously not that great to have. And you can see here the inside edge also is uh, pretty beat up on the other shoe. But overall, Tatum 1s uh, are a top shoe for 2023, like the Jaw 1s. Two of my favorite shoes came around around the same time, both the first shoe from both those players. Um, and I think this shoe will still be a top performer uh, by the end of the year. Now, you do have the Tatum 2s coming out soon. I don't believe any Jaw 1s have been leaked, so... You know, maybe the Jaws stay at the top and I'm wrong and this shoe doesn't. But uh, I think this shoe will be a top performer even by the end of 2024. Uh, they, fit, they fit all playing styles, which I really like. Guard, uh, forwards, even Sanders could wear them. And it's very comfortable, affordable, and a protective shoe. And I recommend them to you guys. That's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know every time we post. And have a great day.